now. So that's where we sit with five to go, and this is a big kind of toss-up game tonight. And defense trying to make the stand early, the give off the near end, and uh, be able to pick up almost five yards. Good second effort there by Dylan Mazinski. He's their top running back, 282 yards on the season, five touchdowns, including a long of a 67 on the year. This Muskie defense has been playing better as of late. Kind of a test tonight. A team that likes to throw the ball and uh, looking out over the horizon right now, we have the moon rising. It is a bad moon rising. There's a nice stop there. Nothing, nothing doing in a third down situation coming up. We can't really get a shot of the moon right now, but... Uh, oh, I, sure I can. Yeah, let's do that. It's I, harvest moon, we call it that? Sure. There we go. Full moon, orange. Very ominous looking as a third down situation coming up here for the Lions. They're going to keep it on the ground. Up the middle. And plenty of room to run. And more from Mazinski. He breaks free. To the 30, to the 20, one man to beat. Darnell Thompson is able to run him down. But a huge gain for Dylan Mazinski. And the Lindmar Lions have something cooking here. First down and goal. First and goal, Lindmar at the Musker team nine. A gain of 66 yards for Mazinski. Man goes in motion, here's the give, off the right end, towards the end zone, and stopped about the one yard line. And there's your harvest moon, ominous. Yeah, just uh, eerie. What's more orange? It is more orange. There we go. So second down in the goal from just outside the two yard line. Defense uh, trying to come up big here, and we got a flag and some movement. That will help out the cause. The right tackle jumped a bit early, and we'll move it back to the seven-yard line. These two teams have met up four times recently, all taken by the Lions. Last year, 41 to nothing. Back in 2021, Lindmar won 63 to 14. They also won in 18 and in 19. Man goes in motion. The give is to Mazinski. Mazinski makes the first man miss, still on his feet. But the Calvary comes to save the day in a third down situation upcoming now for the Lions. Cooper Yao on the stop. This is where that Lynn Martin would be looking for Keaton Roscoff if he was available. Again, as we talked about, tore his ACL in week number two. Instead, they go to Mazinski. Mazinski brought down and a fourth down situation upcoming now for the Lions. Let's see how aggressive coach Tim Lavelle wants to be. Lavelle in his third year leading this Lindmar team, former Marion head coach. Keeps the offense on the field for now. This is a team that has not attempted a field goal all season, which is stunning. Here we are in week number six. They'll go for it here, fourth down, just outside the three. Under center, Stone. Man goes in motion, back to throw, looking, still looking, lets it go and overshoots. Muzinski incomplete. And boy, the musky defense bent, but they did not break. So Stone Morgan, junior quarterback, a bit wide on the attempt on fourth down, and now a big field awaits this musky offense for their first attempt with the ball. Back on the three-yard line. Kozad in the backfield. As 
full house set here on first and 10. Man goes in motion. Everybody gets reset, and here's the give. Kozad, Kozad runs over one defender and gets out near the nine yard line. Ty said he's not quite 100% yet, but uh, close. Definitely feeling better this week. Hasn't looked bad the last two weeks, over 200 yards on the ground and seven touchdowns over the last two games that he's returned from that hamstring injury. So second down in four upcoming from the nine. Again, the kid, the Kozad. Kozad has the first down, breaks free out to the 20 and he fumbles the ball and jumping on it to save the day right there is the quarterback <laughs> going down the field. That, uh, wow, that could have been disastrous. You know, I, I talked to Ty a little bit after the, the game last week and he fumbled twice last week, Chris, and he said he couldn't even feel his left arm. Something, we, we looked at him and he, he dove into the end zone on that one touchdown. Yep. He knew something wasn't right and it was a stinger or something, but he said he had no feeling really in that left arm, which led to those fumbles. And, you know, we even said at half, we were wondering, something didn't quite look normal. Here's the give on the uh, oh, end around to Cooper Yao, and Yao loses a couple of yards on the play. Cooper Yao, the ball carrier. That's going to bring up a second and 12 now for this musky offense. Fourth play of this drive, nearing the halfway point of the first quarter. Wishbone, the give to Kozad, he's free! To the 40, to the 50, he's going to the house! Kozad, to the 20, 10, touchdown, Muskies, Ty Kozad! How did you not call that? 74 yards. And what about four yards shy of his season long? 78, I believe? Could be. We'll check those stats. I feel like it was 79. Not to correct you, but. Hey, you know, it's all right. I'm used to it. <laughs> well, we, we talked, I just talked about Ty said he's not 100% yet, right? And you could kind of see it there. He wasn't able to totally run away from the defender like, like we're used to. But, boy, he broke free, and they couldn't catch him. Here's the kick and you're not going to see that too often no that ball never left the ground and uh, the extra point no good but it's the muskies scoring first tonight they're on top six nothing we'll be right back on the discover muscatine sports network from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see hustler quality for yourself. Muskie Sports are brought to you by Muscatine Power and Water, Muscatine Lawn and Power, Rivo Plumbing and Heating, Unity Point Health, Trinity Muscatine, Bear of Muscatine, Muscatine Church of Christ, H&J Cards, It Takes a Village Animal Rescue and Resources, Impact Fitness and Nutrition, Zach Fry at the Lee Agency, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Muscatine, Muscatine Symphony Orchestra, Josiah Anderson at Real Estate Resource Associates, Star Collectibles, Harper Cycling and Fitness, Muscatine Charities, and a special shout out to Mississippi Pearl Photography for all those great pictures of your Muscatine Muskies. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in... Back here at Lindmar, the kickoff. This one will be returned from the goal line and brought out to near the 25-yard line. So that musky drive officially four plays, 97 yards capped off by the 74-yard TD scamper by Ty Kozad, and Kozad actually uh, credited it with 99 yards on that first drive if you throw in the Cooper Yao negative two-yard play. So a good start tonight for Kozad, 
and this musky offense this is what you want to do on the road get off to the lead and it, i mean it's always what you want to do with this muscatine offense because they don't really not built to throw the ball and come from behind but definitely when you're on the road play with that lead in the first down stop right there cooper yow among the muskies making that tackle Well, the second and seven upcoming for this uh, Linmar squad that's still reeling a bit. And uh, look at look at the the entire defense right now is huddled around a TV on their sidelines for Linmar. The technology here at the high school level in the Linmar school district. Here's a little uh, end around play, trying to break free, still on his feet. Good pursuit, and a flag comes in. I think that's going to be a face mask. On the Muskies. Well, good pursuit. Just got the uh, hand caught in the cookie jar, and that's going to cost Muscatine. I assume they're watching our broadcast. That's a chance, right? Make free runs at Gilligan's Island, maybe? No, but to think, I mean, on the high school level. Right. You're able to huddle your team around and, and show video. So a big first down there coming uh, via the penalty. And this musky defense uh, going to have to dig their heels in and start anew on the set of downs. Here's the give. And Muzinski's free, dancing through a bunch of tacklers. He has a first down near the 40, I'll call it the 42-yard line. Again, Muzinski, 282 yards on the season, five touchdowns. He's their workhorse. This is a very young team, Chris. They got about 82 players on their roster, only 17 seniors, however. Holy cow. 32 sophomores, about 30 juniors. Their, their kicker is a freshman, but uh, not a lot of experience on this squad. And here's Muzinski, again with the carry, one of those juniors. Not a lot there, and it's going to be a maybe one yard. So second down and nine upcoming from the 40. Morgan out of the shotgun, back to throw. Let's it fly, has a man open. Has the ball down inside the 20-yard line. That seam route, that seam route burned the Muskies against Davenport West, and it, it uh, comes back to haunt them again tonight here against Linmar. Morgan under center this time, the give to his big man right up the middle, and he somersaults his way to a first down Tyree Allens Allens the other workhorse on this lion offense comes in just shy of 400 yards on the season Here's the give to Muzinski up the middle into the end zone. And the Lions have tied up this game with 3.44 to go in quarter one. Their extra point is good. And the Lions take a one-point lead. We'll be back in a moment on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself.
Roland Glenline, Chris Anderson back here in Marion. Lindmar Stadium, beautiful facility here on the uh, Lindmar Lion campus. And it's been a back and forth uh, first quarter. Neither defense has really uh, made a stand thus far. Lions took their first drive all the way down the field, came up short on a fourth and goal. Four play touchdown drive by the Muskies, followed up by a quick touchdown drive by the Lions. All equals a seven to six Lion lead with 344 left in quarter number one. Here's the, the kick, it's a short one. Gonna be fielded there by Thompson. Thompson at the 10, out to the 19. He's met by a host of tacklers, he fumbles. The ball's still loose, and it's Lion football. Well, it sure looked like his forward momentum had been stopped, but the whistle had not been blown. And the Muskies turn the ball over. Uh, that one uh, you can't have on the road against a good team. Connor Donaldson credited with the recovery. Thompson just out there fighting for extra yards and uh, coughs it up. Second fumble of the night, first fumble lost. And now this defense has to come right back out in the field and make a stop. Morgan under center, gives off to his uh, big tailback and he is not brought down but pushed out of bounds nonetheless, Tyree Allen. Lost a yard on the play, but uh, he is a low. They have a nice one-two punch here between him and Mazinski. Kind of like the old uh, Kansas City Chiefs when you had with Christian Okoye and, yeah, different size running backs. That is – I'm going to give you credit for a Tecmo Super Bowl reference on that. Uh, well, I want to keep give you credit for uh, keeping your string alive of referencing Tecmo every game this season. It will not end. I can <laughs> promise you that. Third down upcoming here. Big play by this defense. Ball marked at the 12. It's third and six. The Nigerian nightmare, Christian Okoye. <laughs> They'll send uh, two receivers, one in each direction. Man comes in motion off the wing. The fake to him, the give to Mazinski, and he's met at the line of scrimmage. Helmet flies off and, and no gain. They'll stop the clock and uh, Mazinski will have to come out because he lost his helmet and we'll see if they go forward here on fourth down or not. And again, not a lot of faith on their kicking game, have not attempted a field goal all season. They're not about to start here. So another big fourth down opportunity for this Muskie defense. Wing comes in motion, fake to him, looking into the corner. The pass is caught, and it will be enough for the first down, reaching for more, and a touchdown. Great second effort by Austin Waller. And the Lions add on to their lead. And that's one of those plays you can circle right there, Chris. Fourth down, chance to get off the field. And I mean, how much can you ask of your defense though? Extra point is up and good. It's now 14 to six, Lindmar. 2.06 to go in quarter number one. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week, Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems.
definitely get into the 400 yard night out of time. Okay. Or, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily have to be Ty Roland we're, as we're back. It, it could be Cooper Yao. It could be Truesdale. It could be some sort of combination, but I think we are going to need a solid 350 yards to make this happen. Yeah, this is going to have to be a, a bit of a shootout tonight. It has the feel. But you, you can't uh, turn the ball over. That's first and foremost. Here's the kick. It's another short one, and Thompson will get another chance to make amends. Thompson at the 20, steps through the first line of defense and goes down about the 27-yard line. And the Muskies head out for their second turn on offense. Wing formation upcoming. And here's the pitch to Kozad. Kozad trying to go wide. Steps through the first line to defenders, but uh, too much dancing, too much defense, and not enough yardage on that play. A loss on it of a yard. So, Roland, if you're the offensive coordinator for the Muskies right now, what are you thinking about trying to do to break something loose without taking too much of a risk? Because, I mean, obviously at this point we're at the 25-yard line, 26. Can't have something bad happen, but you also need to get some momentum back. Yeah, you give the ball a tie up the middle because that's what's effective. And uh, that's what they do there to pick up about three yards. Yeah, I mean, that's been their home run play the last two years. It's already worked once tonight. Uh, it's not an offense that that goes wide too often. They're a between-the-tackle offense when they're at their best. And we'll see if uh, they go to the air here on third down and eight. Wishbone uh, look, the give is to Yao, and Yao picking up a few, but not enough. And that will bring up a fourth down. So fourth and four, and Othmer comes out to punt it away. Slight breeze, and he does get it away. Line drive kick will bounce over the head. That works out nicely. Fielded around the 20 and brought back to about the 27. Uh, that's where the Lions will uh, take yet another crack at it, their fourth possession of this game. And it will actually uh, start the second quarter because we've reached the end of quarter number one with the Muskies down 14 to six. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. So it's time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support big brothers, big sisters. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Starting quarter number two, another high scoring first quarter. These two teams have done that a lot this year. 
It's been the highest scoring of the four quarters for both teams this season. Here's a little rollout and a late flag thrown uh, back in the backfield as a big gain by the Lions. Tyree Aylens now will check the flag. That about the spot where the quarterback was and uh, Holding will bring that back. So nice break there. Will wipe out a uh, huge first down play of about 20 yards. Hopefully the defense can use that to pick up their game. Totally lost it. This is a quarterback that's thrown five interceptions thus far. He has not shown to be very effective on the year. Uh, they do like to throw the ball to, to the tune of about, uh, well, two to one run to pass. If you look at the Muskies, they're about 12 and a half to one run to pass. So this is a team that will put the ball in the air. And here's the give to Mazinski. And Mazinski tripped up. Uh, he had some room there had he not been. I think Sawyer, Sawyer Zek got a trip there and brought him down. So you know, yeah. It actually kind of reminds me of the Cedar Rapids Jefferson game mm -hmm. where they were pushing the ball up in the air, trying to just keep it off balance. And then they were finally able to hit some of those longer passes that changed the game. So hopefully the defense learned from that game and can prevent that from happening here. Second down and long, ball at the 26 yard line. Again, that wing comes in motion, the give to uh, no, the fake, and here's the pass, and a pass up for grabs. The ball is incomplete, they say. Oh, wow. Lopez came away with it as he was diving out of bounds. The referee was right there, called it incomplete. Not sure of his feet didn't stay in bounds or if he uh, bobbled it there. We were kind of shielded by the, the Lions players on the sideline. Good effort, however, by Lopez. There was an opportunity. We talk about those 50-50 plays, right? Tip ball, chance to get the turnover. Comes up empty and gives the Lions one more chance at this here, third and 12. And they'll uh, hand off and nice play on defense. Nothing doing there. Lions are going to have to punt it away. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a blocked punt right here. I'll take it. I'll take a Lopez return, too, right? We need a big play. We need something. Something just that you had the big play by, by Ty on that first drive, feeling good, but the momentum definitely back on the home side right now. Speaking of Cedar Rapids, Jefferson, they played last night and lost again. They've lost two in a row now. Here's the punt. It's a short one. Lopez runs up on it, catches it, and brought down right Ooh. away. But he hangs onto the ball, and that's good starting position for this offense up at the 45. Yeah, Jefferson uh, had a tough one last night at home against Iowa City West. 44 to nothing, Jefferson lost. Oh, I did not see that. Holy yeah. cow. So Iowa City West, we saw them too. They're a very good team also. But uh, Jefferson coming down to earth a little bit right now. I've lost back-to-back -back weeks. One other game last night, uh, Davenport West defeats Dubuque Senior 28-16. to So Senior still winless on the year. We'll see them last week of the season. First down, the give right up the middle, and uh, not a whole lot there. Ball up to the 48, a gain of three on the play. Goes at uh, over the 100 yard mark already tonight. 104 officially, second and seven upcoming. The wind's picked up. It is a bit breezy. Brooke Hart in motion, looking deep, throwing one on one out there. Thompson catches the ball. No flags on the play. That was my first reaction. It looked like. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a push, push off. right? Yeah. Right? I mean, luckily, uh, nothing called and a nice, nice pass play right there. I, that's, that's all you can ask for.
I don't know. I, I guess maybe a nice little post route over to this nice wide open side of the end zone over here on the right. That could work too, but. Here's the give and Cozad maybe a yard on the play. 26 yards on that pass play to Thompson. Paperweights oh, up my, here. <laughs> oh my goodness, people, we are we are losing it. It's a good thing cameras aren't as light as paper, or we'd be yeah, toast. It it's a breeze, a bit breezy. We're pretty high up too. There's a fumble snap, and Gage able to fall on it, but uh, a wasted chance there. And all of a sudden, it's uh, third down and ten. Fifth play of the drive upcoming, and see if they go back through the air. Yao in motion, the give to Kozad. Kozad runs into the backs of a defender, runs over a couple more defenders, still rumbling forward. A nice gain there, and now it's fourth and short. You can kick a field goal, or you can go for it right here. Well, I, you know, I was just going to ask what, you know, when you're running with third and ten, are you thinking field goal? Or are you thinking it's two down territory? Well, I think they're thinking field goal because. Here comes Mr. Othmer. Orange Shoes is on the field right now. This will be a 36 yard attempt. Othmer missed an extra point early. Snap, kick. And it is good with plenty of now distance I'd, to spare. I'd say a solid 20-some yards to spare, wouldn't you? Yeah, it, it, the only tricky part is there's a definite crosswind going on right now. And I uh, was able to sneak that in through the upright. So it's a big field goal, cuts it uh, down to a five-point game. Uh, we'll be right back from Marion after this. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. The second quarters have been uh, the kind of the Achilles heel for the Muskies this year. The one quarter that they've struggled the most in, being outscored 42-31. They've only uh, won the second quarter one time, tied it once, lost it three times thus, thus far on the season. But uh, they get the field goal there, and now you get a stop, get a touchdown, going to halftime with the lead. That's the game plan anyway, as Othmer will kick the ball away here from the 40-yard line. Uh, now, see, I'd probably game plan that a little bit different. I'd go for the turnover versus an official stop with, like, a scoop and score. It, it all doesn't matter which road you take, take right? No, as it's long as you it's get just a different, different perspectives, you know? That's what I'm here for. Kicks there to the 29-yard line. We have a... Injured lion on the field. We'll uh, we'll keep it here for this one as we kind of get you caught up on what's transpired. If you're just joining us tonight on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network, uh, that's a good showing of Muskie faithful on the other side. But I, a lot of people staying home for this one and tuning us in. Got off to a pretty good start. Lions drove the ball down the field. Muskies made the stop on fourth and goal inside the five. Got the ball back and it didn't take them long to drive down the field. Just four plays, 97 yard drive, and uh, the big touchdown run, 74 yards by Ty Kozad. Extra point was no good, six nothing at that point. The Muskies, but the next 14 points all belong to Linmar as they were able to move the ball down the field. Muskies just countered with a 36 yard field goal by Jackson Othmer. And that puts us at 14 to nine right now with 7.01 to go 
in a quarter number two. Big game tonight here on the road. Of course, the Muskies will be home the next two weeks before ending the season up in Dubuque. Just three games left after tonight in the regular season. Amazing how quickly this flies by. We're ready to go here. The player comes off the field, and now we have a stoppage of play and a timeout taken by Lindmar. Timeout taken by Lindmar. So uh, that's, that's interesting, interesting coming off of that. Maybe they saw something on defense that did not line up with the play they had called. And again, as we always say, you can't use your timeouts at high V. You cannot. Come and go, though, I think you can. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Good to know. There's a lot of things you can do. At come and go? Yeah. So the Lions figure out what they needed to figure out, and we're ready to get going here. And yeah, you're right. A, a turnover would be nice. Lopez almost had the interception on that last drive. It is a windy night and a bit of a crosswind, so throwing the ball is going to be a bit tricky. And Morgan's going to try. Now he pulls it down, decides to run with it. And near a first down. Brought, brought down about a yard shy. Good decision by Morgan not to put the ball up in the air. Again, he's got five interceptions on the season. Second and short. The give to Mazinski. Mazinski rams his way forward for one. That's all he needed. And they'll move the sticks. Some other action uh, around the area tonight. We'll get you caught up at halftime. City High is in Davenport to play Davenport Central. North makes the trip up to face Hempstead up in Dubuque. Big one in uh, Spartan Stadium tonight. Pleasant Valley against Cedar Falls. And uh, Bettendorf's got a big game, too. They're just down the road from where we are. Morgan going to throw it out of the flat. It has Alons. Alons has the first down. Crosses midfield and marked uh, around the 47-yard line. Bettendorf Bulldogs over at Kingston Stadium tonight to play Cedar Rapids Kennedy. The Bulldogs, one of just three teams uh, remaining undefeated in Class 5A. Along with West Des Moines Dowling and Southeast Polk. So first and 10, uh, Lions. Muzinski goes in motion. He gets the ball, tries the middle, and is brought down at about the 41-yard line. Tackle by Eli Trozen on the play. Morgan under center gives off up the middle and again running over the defense. And a much more than he should have had. Boy, that is oh, Krishna Boyer-esque. And a couple of late flags. There was a stiff arm there. And we'll see who grabbed whose face mask. Tyree Alon's a big boy run right there. Face mask on Allens. I thought that might be the case as he had that stiff arm up pretty high. And a nice break right there by the Muskies. will bring that one back 15 yards. You know, as you look at what the two teams have done so far this season as far as scoring points and what they've given up, they're both within plus or minus a point or two dead on of what you would expect at, you know, 26, 24-ish for both. And, you know, it's also part of why you see them both at back-to-back -back at 18th and 19th in the state. Morgan goes to Austin Waller. Waller started the year off at quarterback. Again, injured that shoulder, and he's come back as a receiver. So 
healthy enough to play. Uh, not really healthy enough to throw it around, though, so they're adapting a bit. And now we got a timeout taken on the Muscatine sideline. As they saw something they didn't exactly like, and uh, 4.30 to go, they'll talk that over. And uh, this is a big drive right here. This is 14-9. You don't want to give up seven points going into halftime, even if you can keep it at a five-point game. Right. A five-point game is, you know, enough of a challenge. But I think as you look at this, if you're looking at they're already scoring as many as we give up, and if they get in here, they're going to be there, you know, 21 ish. That's what we give up all game. They're there at halftime. So we're going to have to find some way to keep the defense off the field, kill some time on the offensive side, give them a chance to rest, and keep the. I think in this case, the lower we keep the score, the better off we're going to be. Well, this is an offense in Linmar that does turn the ball over, and that would be big right here. Morgan will go under center on first and 10 from the 10. They'll give up to Mazinski, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and is brought down. One down, three to go for this defense. So based on what we saw earlier, Roland, are you thinking this is probably still four down territory for them? Do you think they they're not going to kick? They a field goal all year, yeah, I mean, Chris. I don't, can't I, see them starting now. I, I, I know, but it just still <laughs> seems crazy to think, though. You know what I mean? I know. Like, they have a freshman kicker, and I, they just don't feel confident in him kicking the ball. Man. He's done all right. Extra points. Well, I mean, and you're almost in extra point land here. True. And now they have two men go in motion, and that's going to be a flag. Oh, they called the timeout. All right. So... Not sure the whistle blew before both men were in motion, but they, they grant the timeout nonetheless. And this game is kind of grinded to a halt on this drive here. Both coaching staffs spending uh, their timeouts. Communication was not on point on that last play for Lindmar. But, you know, this is a case where I, I don't mind seeing him throw those extra timeouts out there. I mean, if you see something you don't like, the last thing you need to do is go, crap, I wish I would have stopped that when I had the chance. We'll see how aggressive Linmar wants to be here. If they want to put this ball in the air, that wind is definitely howling a bit out there. You look at the, the goal post, you can see the flags on top kind of moving uh, right to left. Brzezinski in motion. Fake to him, rolling out. Morgan, Morgan was running all the way, and he's in trouble and brought down. Nice play by the Muskie defense. That looked to be a design bootleg. And the Muskies sniffed it out, so out comes third down now, and they'll mark it at the eight again. Another timeout taken by the Muskies. Yes. So, again, they got to look at how Linmar lined up, and they'll talk about it here. This is a pretty big play, though. You got to make sure you got the, the right defense called on third and eight. But uh, you expect this to be two down territory again for the Lions. 3.06 left in this second quarter. Still plenty of time for the Muskies once they get the ball back. Scoreboard has both teams with one timeout remaining now.
ball marked on the near hash. Out of the shotgun is Morgan. Back to throw, Morgan lets it go. It's high and it's incomplete. Off the fingertips of Waller. Thompson out there in coverage and now fourth down. And that offense stays on the field. Boy, as a kicker, though, you just got to be like, come on, coach. Like, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Give it a shot. It's only a 25-yard field goal attempt from there. But they uh, are going to go for it. Mazinski in motion. The pitch to him. Oh, he ducks inside one tackle. Now the race to the corner. And Darnell chases him down. And it will be musky football. That is one thing that I enjoy seeing Darnell does very well is tracking people down going horizontally. They're running east-west. I feel pretty good about our chances. Defense had that one uh, defended perfectly, right? They got in the backfield, caused that play to go out just a little wider than the back wanted and allowed just a, a split more of a time for Thompson to make the play. And now you got 254 on the clock. Can the Muskies muster another drive? They already have one 97 yard touchdown drive on the night. And a lot of movement early, no flags. And Instead, there's a nice pickup by Ty Kozad. Looked like that was had to be some kind of flag, but nothing called. And the ball out to the 14, a gain of 11 for Kozad. First and 10, Muscatine at their own 14. And now yep. we do have a flag. Well, this is one of those spots where you're okay being down 14-9 at halftime if you can take this time off the clock. You want to hit the home run, but you don't want to give him the ball back. I was just going to say. The, the top priority is not letting Lindmar get the ball back. Full house backfield, first and 15. The give to Kozad up the middle, and not a whole lot there as he gets to maybe the 11 or 12. And this is where the mental toughness is going to come in and make sure that they're actually, you can't have false starts in this situation. You can't have those mental mistakes that are going to make it even more difficult to either A, get all the way down the field or prevent them from getting the ball back with enough time to score. I, like, I, I give the tie again. Let your home runner hitter and hit it out of the park. There's Ty, and uh, defense is there. Kozad stays on his feet, however, able to get up to the around the 15 yard line. And have that we, clock keeps moving down to 130 left now. Have we seen the double handoff to Cooper Yale no, yet? We have not seen that play. You might see it here on third and nine, though. Oh, my God. We got water bottles flying around, folks. It's a dangerous place to be up in the press box. Third and nine, clock ticking down, 105 left. The turn, back to throw, and too high oh. and intercepted, and that's not. That's. And a horse collar on top of it. it. That is the worst possible. It, mm. Even if you hand off there, they have, they have one timeout, but you're under a minute to go. And you can put them back at the 50. You go into halftime down five. Yeah. Ugh. Well, the young man would like to have that throw back, no doubt about it. But uh, the second turnover of the night, both of them on the Muskies. Indication of the penalty, first cover tackle. He's going to set up uh, Lindmar first and goal. Uh, you know, and if if there's a player in the first half at this point, I, I honestly think it might be the defense if they can pull this off. 
Defenses had to pull yeoman work already, making two fourth and goal stops. Here's Mazinski, direct snap. He gets out of one tackle, jukes his way, and uh, able to get down to the five. That clock is running, 46 seconds left. Quick update from West Liberty. The comments are down, 14 to eight at the end of the first. Linmar actually huddled there, quick huddle, but the clock ticks. And here's another snap to Mazinski, direct snap, and he's got lots of room. And that's a touchdown. Well, you, you always hear fans get on coaches for being too conservative, and especially here in Iowa, where you have maybe the most conservative coach in the history of conservatism, right, and Kirk Ferentz. I always want to go for the touchdown when he got the ball, but sometimes well, playing the long game is what makes a difference. It's being selective. You know, it's all a risk management issue you know so Linmar are going to go for two now after the offsides penalty because they really apparently don't like to kick the ball <laughs> here's the still give blows my mind. and he's going to sneak his way into the end zone and that makes the score 22 to 9 with just 20 second, seven seconds left it's going to be a long uh, road to come back tonight. It's doable. Muskies will get the ball to start the second half. We'll just keep it here for this because we're almost at halftime. And, and who knows, maybe, maybe Darnell can break a return right now and you're able to get points. But, boy, you're two minutes less on the clock than you were two minutes ago and down eight more. Yeah, barring, I, barring a long kickoff return right here, you're just taking a knee and going to halftime or giving a tie and hoping he can break one, which is probably smarter. I, but I, it's just, yeah, I, one I, play really made a difference there. You know, even with the, the tougher time he's had handling the ball second half of the last game, I still feel like that's a pretty safe route to go. Here's a short kickoff, and Thompson runs up on it, fumbles it again, and picks it up, but that really stymied any chance he had on the return. And with 20, the clock didn't even move there. Still 22 seconds left. <laughs> I'll tell you, folks, that's a lot harder than you think it is. I ran a clock for the first time last Sunday for a football game. Done it for basketball for years. Holy cow, it's a little bit different. You think you know what you're doing. You know, you watch a ton of football, you even announce. You press stop, you press start. Uh, yeah. But in like fifth, sixth grade, they also have these weird rules with like fourth downs and if they're going to punt or walk off 35 yards and or something. Give up the middle and near a first down as the clock ticks. One time out left if. Muskies want to take it. Nine, one. They're staying out like they're going to. And the they're clock done. Hits zero. And that will bring us to halftime. It's uh, up and down halftime. Too much downs. Need more ups in the second half. At the break, it's 22 9. Linmar, you're watching the Muskie football on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Welcome to the future, imagined by visionaries, championed by leaders, and focused on results. Made real through hard work, 
and a determination to build the things that people count on. Places where ideas are born, where progress fuels growth and strengthens communities. It's work that makes a difference. United Rentals, you're building the future. We're here to help. When water service lines get damaged, customers often call us first. Remember, MPW is responsible for the water main. The water service line from the main to your home belongs to you. Damage is usually unexpected, and repairs can cost thousands. So don't wait until a problem occurs. Be prepared. Check your homeowner's policy and see if it's covered. If not, third-party protection plans are available for water and sewer. MPW also offers the utility loan program with 0% interest, and that may help. Learn more at mpw.org. physical therapy. Feel better, move forward. We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience, we know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Muskie Sports are brought to you by Muscatine Power and Water, Muscatine Lawn and Power, Rivo Plumbing and Heating, Unity Point Health, Trinity Muscatine, Bear of Muscatine, Muscatine Church of Christ, H&J Cards, It Takes a Village Animal Rescue and Resources, Impact Fitness and Nutrition, Zach Fry at the Lee Agency, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Muscatine, Muscatine Symphony Orchestra, Josiah Anderson at Real Estate Resource Associates, Star Collectibles, Harper Cycling and Fitness, Muscatine Charities, and a special shout out to Mississippi Pearl Photography for all those great pictures of your Muscatine Muskies. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week, Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. So it's time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support Big Brothers Big Sisters. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. 
Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas, has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated. Call us for your next remodel. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf. Mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Welcome to the future, imagined by visionaries, championed by leaders, and focused on results. Made real through hard work and a determination to build the things that people count on. Places where ideas are born, where progress fuels growth and strengthens communities. It's work that makes a difference. United Rentals, you're building the future. We're here to help. When water service lines get damaged, customers often call us first. Remember, MPW is responsible for the water main. The water service line from the main to your home belongs to you. Damage is usually unexpected and repairs can cost thousands. So don't wait until a problem occurs, be prepared. Check your homeowner's policy and see if it's covered. If not, third party protection plans are available for water and sewer. MPW also offers the utility loan program with 0% interest and that may help. Learn more at mpw.org. physical therapy. Feel better, move forward. We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience. We know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Musky Sports are brought to you by Muscatine Power and Water, Muscatine Lawn and Power, Rivo Plumbing and Heating, Unity Point Health, Trinity Muscatine, Bear of Muscatine, Muscatine Church of Christ, H&J Cards, It Takes a Village Animal Rescue and Resources, Impact Fitness and Nutrition, Zach Fry at the Lee Agency, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Muscatine, Muscatine Symphony Orchestra, Josiah Anderson at Real Estate Resource Associates, Star Collectibles, Harper Cycling and Fitness, Muscatine Charities, and a special shout out to Mississippi Pearl Photography for all those great pictures of your Muscatine Muskies. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Roland Glenbank, Chris Anderson back here in Marion. Halftime and about 280 band members on the field right now, it feels like. Well, There's I thought Iowa City West had a big band, but that is huge. That is, that is a monster. We definitely feel like we're at a, a college right now. With between the press box, this huge stadium, beautiful facility in this band. I tell you what. Yeah. So first half. 
thoughts. Uh, it was a good start. Defense has come up with a couple fourth down stops, but really it's it's been about turnovers right now. A fumble and an interception by the Muskies. Those two turnovers have led to 15 points for the Lions, and that's really the difference in the game right now. It's 22 to nine. It, it absolutely is, and you know, so you wonder. Okay, here we are. We find ourselves down. You know, 13 points at half. What do you have to change? to make up those 13 points. Obviously it's turnovers, but you've also got to get the ball moving on the ground. Yeah, and, and, and they are to a point. I mean, you get the one big run, which has led to the touchdown by Kozad. But, and but, yeah, but but they are, they haven't gone to Yao yet. They haven't really run that counter play, that little reverse play that they like. And, and right now the defense is, is obviously keen on Kozad which still gets you five yards most of the time, but yeah. Right, but it's, it, you know, tonight it's not just enough to keep, or it's not quite enough to keep the chains moving. They're stalling out, and, you know, with only the one big run at the front, it has just kind of ground down almost to a stop, and you wonder, you, you, you do try the, you know, as a bootleg out here to the right side at the end of the half, maybe to try and throw them off and it turns into an interception but how, how do you turn yeah, I, that I into something that you, you gotta you know this is obviously a very well prepared team very well coached team and, and you know they got the video over there and they're all watching it they know what they're doing they know yeah. they've scouted muscatine well so you gotta just throw some wrinkles in if you're gonna throw the ball great we've done that with a little bit of success this year but but do it on first down or, or do it, you know, when they were not expecting it. Second and one, maybe. Do it then. Right. Kind of try to catch them, you know, go against tendencies a little bit. And, and you know, that's going to open things up a little more for Ty, too, if you can connect on a play like that. And then you're going to be just fine. You, you got to get them defensively, you know, you got to be able to stop their passing game. And, and again, it's a windy night and a quarterback that's not been accurate on the year. You're going to get your chance. You've had your chances in the first half, the near interception, a couple of times. You just you got to make those plays. We talk about making those 50-50 plays, and right now the, the Lions have done it, and, and the Muskies haven't come away with it. And that's, that's the difference. This is still a close game. It is, absolutely. You get the ball here, you're able to take it down for a touchdown, and, and then you're talking a, a very a one-score game. So this is still doable. You just don't, don't overthink yourself a little bit. And... Well, and, you know, I think it could be a simple on the tendency thing. When I always compare this, when I think I've got to go against my tendencies at some point, I always think of the game rock, paper, scissors, right? And whatever my first I thought, thought for sure is, it was going to be Tech Mobile. It was yeah. not Tech Mobile. Okay. No, because Tech Mobile, you do the same thing all the time no matter what. No, but like, so if you're thinking I'm going to throw a rock, or the split second, just change it to something else, yeah. right? Like, whatever that first instinct is, that's the point where you change it just a little bit. And if you see them throw the thing, don't throw the thing that beats them the next one. Throw the thing that beats the thing that beat the thing, right? Yeah. So, like, just be one step ahead. And, you know, there was one guy that I did that with for probably two years. Every night to see who got to go home first from the car dealership. Guess what? I got to go home first every night. <laughs> So, yeah, don't, you know, reinvent the the rocking chair here. You're still going to lean on Ty, yep. and, and he's going to be the one to take you to victory if you can get the victory here. But, yes, throw in a wrinkle here and there, but break tendencies. Don't do it on third and long. And, and obviously, it's not really the best uh, passing night as it is, it feels like. So, uh, just, yeah, well, I, I, I agree. Just throw a, a wrinkle, but do it when they're not expecting it. And it's tough because obviously everybody knows you've got this big gun, right? Yep. And so you, you've got to use the big gun. And, you know, because here's the thing. If they didn't use Ty and they were doing all this other stuff and things weren't going well, we'd probably be saying, well, why aren't you using Ty more? Yep. Right? And that's... Got to um, go there, but but you got to go to Yao too. And, and Cooper hasn't really... I think Cooper had maybe one touch in the first yeah. half. So let's get him involved and uh, go from there. You know, the offense hasn't looked that bad no, thus far. No, but and, and that's, you know, and obviously this is just us up here talking. Yeah. and It's know. about hanging on the ball. That's what it comes down to really yeah. is the turnovers right now. Uh, check out some other scores from uh, of interest. 
from around the area. Right now, uh, Kennedy, just down the road in Cedar Rapids, leads Bettendorf 14-7. to That a uh, second quarter score. Also in Cedar Rapids, a lot of Quad City teams coming out this way tonight, I see. North Scott is over at Xavier, and uh, they lead 14-7. to And a big one in the Quad Cities, Pleasant Valley leads Cedar Falls 14-7. That with about a minute to go in the second quarter. So... Some big games tonight, and uh, they, they remain in the balance out there. It's a big week with the, the playoffs, and the first of official playoff standings will be released by the Iowa High School Athletic Association for the big schools next week. You know, I kind of cheated and, and did the all. It's really no, it's, it's just know the math formula. And you're right. You do it yourself. You want to do the work, and, and you know, I, I didn't do all the work because it is hours of work, but the Muskies would be 13 or 14 right now before this game tonight and, and quite quite frankly they'd probably be playing pleasant valley in the first round who would be about a four who would be the four seed that i know for sure so that that's what you're looking at right now again there's this game with a lot of work to do and you got to play pleasant valley well, next next week. week yep yep so that that's a, a tough week and a half of football coming up but then uh, things lighten up towards the end with the uh, two no disrespect but two winnable games against Davenport North, who did pick up their second win last week, and then Senior, who who has not won yet this year. That's what remains for the Muskies, and, and you got to get to at least five. Six gets you in for sure. Five has you right there, swiping it out on uh, that final Friday. Hope, hoping for a favor. Yep. And uh, we talked about the, the strength of schedule. That's kind of taken a turn here, and now the the Muskies' opponents are below 500. They're 22 and 25. So, yeah, they're about three games below 500. So, and that's not going to change too much now going forward because everyone's playing each other with district play kind of in full effect. So, you, a lot of your opponents are going to be playing your other opponents, and it's not you're not going to see a lot of variation there. So, that is what it is. But you at least need to get to five, which means two more wins on the season. Which this, is definitely doable from here. Yeah, it, it should be doable. They should win the last two games. They, they really should. And, and this game still is in the balance. If you can clean things up, this is a, a, a Linmar team that, again, is missing their best player. Keaton Roskop, the, the All-State tight end, is out for the year. He'll go to Iowa State next year. Play Big 12 football, unless Iowa State changes conferences between then and now. But <laughs> maybe they'll just swing by the ACC for a year or two, then right. maybe SEC, and then maybe back to the Big 12. Who knows? Ty goes at 138 yards in that first half, 74 of those coming on that big touchdown run. As the teams are back out in the field and we're set to go here in half number two. Again, Muskie's going uh, left to right on your screen here. It will get the ball to start off uh, this third quarter. And this is a big drive right here to get back into this ball game and really trying to just change the momentum. You get seven points on the board here. Well, and, you know, it doesn't even have to be an explosive answer right out of the half. I mean, if you can just get, you know, maybe a 10-play drive and get the ball moving, move the chain a couple times. Thompson, uh, again, not a whole lot on that kick return. He doesn't seem to be running with kind of authority out of that right now. Just kind of like looking for the hole. And, again, that's nothing I've ever done. I've never returned a kick. It's not at all anything easy to do. But the, the guys who have success at it, and when Darnell's had some success at it, you, you seem to just go full speed right away, right? Yep. You, just, you find that seam right away. Once you start kind of hesitating, you're lost. The wind howling, we apologize for that. Uh, it just is what it is right now. And there's the first down carry, not a whole lot there for the Muskies. Kozad. Back to the line of scrimmage. And they give him a yard on the play, so second and nine upcoming. You know, you wonder if this is a spot where you could even use like a little bubble screen sort of a thing just to open up that field because, I mean, we're 100% on the left side of the field here. Here's the give up the middle. That 
a bit of room out to about the 30 yard line third down upcoming however. And, and that's one of the things that the lack of the passing threat causes on the defensive side. I mean, normally if you see, you know, one receiver, two receivers out here on the other side, you're going to pull at least a couple defenders out there with you so that you don't have uh, four, seven. I mean, literally all of them are within seven yards. Thompson in motion, give to Kozad. Kozad bursts through and gets the first down. You know, by radius, I don't think there was a Linmar defender that started that snap more than about seven yards away from the ball. Gain of seven on the play. Now, counterpoint on that, if he is, and no one's vision is better than Ty's, right? If he does hit that seam and finds that hole, well, then he's gone. And we've seen that, too. But, yeah, it does make things a little harder. Yeah, there's just more bodies in there. Kozad rumbling forward this time, but again, five yards on first down. And, you know, here's, what are we looking at, second and five-ish probably? Maybe this is a spot where you throw one of those passes in. And it comes up a bit, uh, well, one of the linemen come up a bit sore after that play. Cranky, he's all right back there. And yeah, second and five down. And a quick shout out to uh, Evan Frankie, who was a official last weekend for the fifth and sixth grade Muskies. It's great to see him out there. All the guys noticed that he was there and really appreciated it. Turn give and uh, some nice yardage there near a first down. And I think he's going to get it. And that will move the chains for the Muskies. Sebastian Gabor gets a, a rare carry here. Came in a relief last week. Playing some meaningful minutes right there. So first and 10, ball near midfield on this very important drive. Oh, no. uh oh, there's another fumble. Looks like, looks like Ty Kozad jumped on the ball, but. You know, and that's that mental toughness that we were talking about just a little bit ago. Those are the mistakes you can't make if you want to no. keep the ball moving. If you're only breaking off three to five a shot, you don't have the luxury of making those mistakes. Muskie's definitely shooting themselves in the foot a bit tonight. Second and 11 now from the 47. It's again that wind howling through the press box. Turn, give to Ty. Ty runs into the defense, spins out of the first tackle, and gets the ball inside of Linmar territory. I'll call it uh, four yards on the carry. But now you're facing third and seven. This is tricky right here. Play clock already down to 17, and the play just coming in from the sidelines. Came in a bit late. Going to have to hustle this one up. Play clock down to seven as they're just getting set. They do get it off. The pitch tie, tie, goes near side, spins out of a tackle, will be short of the first down. Picks up three yards, and out comes the punting unit. Not even going to think about that. Fourth and four. It's early. Got about, what, 35-ish yards on that drive. Move the chains a couple times. Positive. Pin them back. You know, you can play the Iowa field position game here. Short punt. Nice bounce, dangerously fielded Ooh. there and brought down at the 20. I don't yeah. think there's too many coaches that are going to advise grabbing that one. No, no. not with three, three guys within about two feet. So the drive comes up without points, and really the biggest play on that drive, the fumbled snap, because you that just stalled it, got you behind the chains, made it second and 11, 
and you end up getting it to fourth and four, but if you had another, you know, you don't fumble that, you get a chance to pick up those four yards. And, you know, that is the thing about those hard charging up the middle offenses is you, you don't have that luxury. Here's Mazinski, big carry on first down, uh, moving the sticks right out the gate for Lindmar. Very dangerous part of the game right here, Chris, as the Lions have the ball back. Already up 13 midway through this third quarter. Defense has to get off the field without surrendering any more points. The give up the middle again. Muzinski bounces his way near another first down. Picking up nine on that carry. And now Muzinski leaves the game, and in comes our Nigerian nightmare friend, Mr. Allens. Was it Priest Holmes? Priest Holmes, the other back, along with a little Apoya. bit after, yeah. And around and plenty of room again as Linmar is picking up big chunks now against this musky defense. That was Landon Sorg. And they're inside musky territory. You know, I wish we had a time of possession stat. Because I'm feeling like the defense has been out there quite a bit. Yes. And you can only bend so much. Give to Allens, Allens, big gain. Rumbling down inside the 30 yard line. Yeah, you see a lot of hands on hips right now for this musky defense. That's always a sign of, of just being tired. And you know, admittedly, they're keeping the ball in front of them at least. The secondary is they're not letting them break something huge. But when you're popping off, you know, 9 to 11 a run, it's still going to add up really quickly. They're going to put the ball in the air. Morgan Here we in go. trouble. Oh, my. And there's Mazinski wide open and about nine more yards. Well, a, a great job that, on the pressure, and they had Morgan scared. You know, that was a Tim Kelly. And a, a Tim Kelly is when you can be – totally in the worst possible position throw something out there and it turns out smelling great and that's for mr talkington who i am i know is watching at home right now so first down actually second and one just shy of the first down ball right at the 20 yard line There's the give, and Allen's basically just falls forward and moves the sticks. Whoa. Uh, late bodies flying around. No flags are flying, however, and it'll be first and 10, Lindmar. Somebody just needs to uh, spark this team because right now all the momentum on the side of this Lions Club. Lions Club that has lost three straight games coming into tonight. Watching this offense move this through the start of the second half, you can see how they could put up those 50-60 points that they did in the first two games. Mazinski again, again, uh, just four more yards, but four yards on first down. Makes all the difference, second and six, and they're very manageable. And then what else they're doing is they're just running clock right now, already down to 320 in this third quarter. Got to somehow force a turnover. Here's the end around, nice job, a late flag comes in. Frankie on the tackle. 
Sorg on the carry, and the penalty is on Linmar. So they lost a yard. They're probably going to push him back, though, 10-yard penalty. So you'll take that unless it would have been uh, coming up on fourth down, but just second down, so they'll take the 10-yard penalty and force Linmar into a, a passing situation here. And here's your opportunity, right? We talked about this young junior quarterback's thrown five interceptions on the season. Uh, hasn't really thrown with a lot of confidence tonight. He's had a few passes that, that were uh, hold your breath moments for this Lion faithful. So here's your opportunity. Back to throw Morgan. Safe pass there out in the flat. And a lot of work done uh, down towards the goal line. And just shy, that all the effort of Dylan Mazinski, the running back, made some nifty moves, so was able to juke and jive his way down to the one yard line. And you know, once he received the ball, it was a pretty north-south run. Good downfield blocking. Here's the quarterback keeper, it's Waller, and Waller's into the end zone. And the Lions in control tonight. Extend their lead 28 to 9. And they're gonna they're gonna kick an extra point here. Oh. The kicker gets to play too. Oh that was Oh. Well, there there you go, <laughs> right? There we go. <laughs> Extra point is a doinker. Right off the At left 245 post. left. It's now Linmar 28, Muscatine 9. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week, Rivo incorporated skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. So it's time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support big brothers, big sisters. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Uh Roland Glenbine, Chris Anderson back here in Marion. Where things just got a bit tougher tonight for your Muskies. Uh, Unsportsmanlike penalty assessed to a Muscatine after the extra point, and that allows for the easy touchback. And the Muskies will start things off from the 20 yard line, and needing offense and needing it quick. On the scoreboard, City High dominating Davenport Central tonight, 47 to nothing. That game being played at Brady Street Stadium. Muskies alter the line. They're going to go unbalanced ride. Fumble the snap again. And that's the second, at least the second time that's happened tonight. It, it seems like the frustration is mounting here. You know, as a coach, what what do you try and do to get your guys to calm down, take a breath, and get back to playing the way we've seen them play? Whatever that is, that's what we need to find the solution to right now. Well, first thing we got to do is get the snap. That's uh, oh, that's just frustrating right there for everybody involved. Because again, it happened last drive, and again right now, you're second down. They're trying to get a 3-5 there, didn't get it. They're going to go unbalanced again. Here's the give. 
And not a whole lot of room there for Ty. Up to about the 22. Two yards, and now you're faced third and eight already. Lions defense credit. They've done a good job of really keeping this running game in check tonight. Again, we have not really seen Cooper Yao involved. But uh, they're, they're focused on uh, number 24. And Ty's still getting his yards, but they are definitely doing their job of keeping him in check. Well, they aren't letting him break his big runs. Back to throw. Under pressure and nowhere yeah. close to anything. But, you know, throwing it away like that, it's safe. I mean, I, I, he didn't really have anybody to hit. I don't mind him throwing that ball away. Yeah. Right, a lesson learned from the first half there. And but three and out, not what you need it. Trailing 19 points in this ball game as we have just 115 left now in the third. I'd say it's about time for, what, an 85-ish yard punt from Mr. Othmer? You got that for us, bud? And again, I feel like he's going a little into the wind here as well. Yes. So. <laughs> well, if we get a bounce, we do not get a bounce. A nice coverage, however, stops him. Pretty much no gain on the correct side of the 50-yard line. That's where the Lions will start with a pretty short field. Well, this game is still not over, and even if you lose, the season's not over. It's still kind of control your own destiny with three games remaining. However, you need to see something positive tonight. You had two great weeks in a row. You don't want to throw it all away here tonight and, and with a complete dud. So don't worry about the scoreboard so much as just make a stop right here and get something positive going your way and, and see and see what happens man comes in motion the give to Mazinski. Mazinski, a lot of room to run again oh my. and Thompson makes the tackle but not before Mazinski uh, rattles off 17 yards And to give the Mazinski again a lot of room. One man to beat to get the corner and can't do that, but still another 17 back to back 17 yard carries by Mazinski. Nice open field tackle by Jackson Othmer. Just he, he, their offensive line opened up a gap of probably a solid three yards wide for him to blow through. And, and I don't know why they put the ball in the air right now, they don't need to. He'll go right back to Mazinski, and uh, this time, third time's a charm. Frankie there on the tackle makes the stop right at the 15-yard line. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter. Work to do in the fourth. Do the Muskies have a comeback in them? We'll find out after this. You're watching the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Welcome to the future, imagined by visionaries, championed by leaders, and focused on results. 
made real through hard work. When water service lines get damaged, customers often call us first. Remember, MPW is responsible for the water main. The water service line from the main to your home belongs to you. Damage is usually unexpected and repairs can cost thousands. So don't wait until a problem occurs, be prepared. Check your homeowner's policy and see if it's covered. If not, third party protection plans are available for water and sewer. MPW also offers the utility so after that big hit, both players uh, shaking a bit, but both got up, walked off the field under their own power. That's great to see. And now what would be great to see is a bit of a drive by this Muskie offense. They'll go wishbone. Starting at the 20, the give to Ty. Ty, a lot of bodies in his way. Picks up about three yards on first down. Just not really getting the holes to run through up there. These are some big boys for Linmar. And they're a, a physical front four for sure. Again, wishbone look. The give to Cooper Yao. Yao hesitates, has some room. Yao breaks free down the sidelines near midfield. And you widen the field out and look what happens. Well, we've been calling for Cooper to get the ball and Cooper finally got the ball and good things happened. And you know, the center was completely clogged up. Yeah. I mean, there was- everyone's keying on 24 right now. Yeah, there had to have been, I don't know, of the 22 guys on the field, 18 of them were right up the gut. Back up the gut here, and again, just two yards on first down. Goes that up to 171 yards unofficially on the night. We remain to see if he can hit the 200 yard mark for the third straight week. 
That's something to stay tuned and watch for. Wishbone look again. The give to Kozad. He breaks free and picks up some extra yardage. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Kept the feet moving. And a uh, nice little carry there of five yards. Third down three. Now third and three. Ball inside Linmar territory. You would think this would be four down territory. I would, I don't know how it couldn't be. Wishbone look. Fake the Kozad. Here's Yao. Yao has the first down, and we don't have to even worry about that. Yao moves the sticks. Not a pretty looking play. Kind of sloppy there, but Yao found the hole, hesitated, and uh, shot through just in time. So first and ten, Muskies. You Down know, to the 43. That's another one. If he would have seen, if he would have been able to bounce to the outside off of that, he had plenty of room to run. They'll stick with the wishbone. The give to Brookhart. Tries to bounce outside. Not a lot doing there. Maybe a yard on the play. Second down and nine upcoming. Carson Lindsay and Tanner Burridge on the tackle. Second down, nine. Give to Kozad. Kozad. Again, really no hole to run through. Give them a yard on the play, and third down and long upcoming now for the Muskies. Ty Kozad, the ball carrier. John Norris and Carson Lewinsky on the stop. Third down and eight. So third and eight. We'll see if Curtis puts the ball up in the air here or if they use this as four down territory and keep it on the ground. Clock down to eight minutes to go in this ball game. Three receivers set, back to throw. Curtis rolling, and he is oh, no. wrangled to the ground back at the 50. And now it's fourth down and 17 upcoming. And out comes the punting unit. Again, we, we talk about breaking tendencies. Throwing's okay, but when they know you're going to throw. It, it's not a break of a tendency. Nope. Third and eight there. I, I mean, it sounds like we're second guessing, and yeah, we are. Here's the punt. Well, it's not even really second guessing as, it, as much as it is just that's the position we find ourselves in. Yeah. You know, why not? Maybe run there when they're expecting you to pass on third and eight. Pick up five yards, go for it on fourth and three. I mean, uh, but again, you're you're down 26 points here. You're just trying to work on things. As I look down the sidelines, and uh, Lindmar goes back over to watch your TV show. <laughs> And I'm not sure, but it looks like they've got about roughly twice as many kids on the sideline. Yeah, as they, they have 82 kids on this roster. I haven't counted the Muskies lately, but it's it's a heck of a lot less. And there's a nice open field tackle. Stops Linmar in their tracks on that play. Arceo on the tackle. Well, back home next week. 54. 50, so they, yeah. they, on the roster sheet, they have a full page and a half more players. Yep. This is a, a big, big school district with a lot of money. You think Pleasant Valley has money? This district right here has more money than Pleasant Valley does. So if you're not familiar with Linmar, that's all you need to know. Mm -hmm. 
just looking at this facility, it's it's amazing. And you know, and I worked over at KGAN, the Cedar Rapids station in Cedar Rapids, years ago. They played their football across that little creek on that tiny little field by the elementary school. Uh, they've come a long way. Turn the give. And uh, I believe they got enough to move the sticks again. Third and two, looks like they'll give them three. First down, Lions. One piece of growth so far, when the Muskies have found themselves in this position in the past, we've started seeing some unsportsmanlike conduct penalties come out. We haven't seen that yet in the second half. There was the one in the first half, but... Yeah. All you can do is flush this, right? Flush it, learn from it. You still got to find a way to win two more ball games. Here's the give to Mazinski. With two winnable on the schedule. Yes. It comes down to beating North and beating a winless senior team is what it's going to come down to. If you can pull the upset against PB next week, great. But the season really comes down to those last two weeks. Now, you want to be playing better football going into those games. But again, this is just a defense being worn down right now. Mm. Clock down under five minutes. Second down in one as they picked up nine yards on that first down carry. Starters still remain in the game for Linmar. Here's Waller. Quarterback turned receiver moves the chains. Some action there after the whistle. No flag and first down and 10. Lions upcoming. Give to the motion man. And again, good job by the defense there. You know, speaking of that size difference, uh, according to some quick stats I found, they've got 2,255 kids enrolled in their high school versus uh, Muscatines at around 1,400, 1,500. Yep. That makes a difference. Yep. This is a, a traditional, now they haven't been good in football, like, like, elite good recently. This was a very good program back in, I believe, the 1980s. This is a, a very much a basketball school, as the Bohannon boys, of course, went to school here. And uh, Is this where I say what's a Bohannon? Uh, you no. should know the Bohannon. I, I know what a Bohannon. There's been, what, enough of them. <laughs> yeah. So third and eight, chance to get off the field here. Let's see how the defense can make a play. Clock down to three minutes. The give up the middle, and Alon's nowhere to go this time. Muskies, that's good to see right there. It, you know, forcing the punt. And for as tired as those guys have to be, they're they're not leaving anything on the field. I mean, when they leave, they're going to put everything into this. And the defense's effort tonight. I... Let's let's shout out Raul Madrigal on that play. We don't say his name very often, but that was a nice play right there by the big defensive lineman. At the heart of that stop. And the offense will get one more crack at it here. Short punt. Fair catch called for in heavy traffic. Brookhart brings it down. And you know, this is one. Make sure you don't get hurt. Don't do anything silly. Well, let's see if Ty can get 23 yards to go over the 200 mark, yard mark tonight. I don't know. Small victories. Try to get points on the board. Try to get something positive going into next week. Cooper Yao comes out of the, the game right now. 
Because when moral victories are all that's left, you need to get those. Yes. And uh, we're going with our backups now. So I believe that's Gabor on the carry. Sebastian picks up uh, maybe a yard. A mass exodus heading uh, to the parking lot right now. Make it easier for us to get out tonight. I'm trying to think of is there any positive I can get right now. <laughs> uh, positive, it's only 9-11. Yes, it has been a very quick game. Good, we got a bit of a road trip ahead of us here. So three more yards, that brings up a third in five. Third down five. See if Gage puts the ball in the air here. Nope, he'll hand off up the middle and a nice spurt there by Sebastian Gabor. First down, Muskies into Linmar territory as we have one minute left in this game. Muskies go no huddle. And they're going to call movement up front. Look like Muskie King got set. They waited for the man to get in position. But maybe we just haven't had enough flags thrown tonight, so. Got to hit the quota. Right. Give up the gun, not a whole lot there. Maybe one more snap if the Muskies want to. Meanwhile, the Bettendorf Bulldogs have taken the lead in the fourth quarter, 28-21. In that ball game. North Scott continues to lead Xavier 20-3 as the final seconds are gonna tick off here. And your final score for Marion tonight, it's all Linmar, they win 35 to nine, and I'm gonna leave it up to you to come up with a player of the game tonight. Oh my, oh my. Any suggestions from the crowd, folks? I, you know, in a 35 to nine win, you probably wouldn't normally think this, but I, I'm gonna go outside the box, and I, I'm going to give it to the whole defense, okay? Uh, because of the effort. You know, they were they were put up against a pretty impossible task. They were on the field a lot. They they played their hearts out. I don't, they're not going to have anything left. It didn't work out super great for them, but there was pride there. They were playing. I mean, even at the end, yeah. They were still filling the holes. So I think I got to go with the whole defense, unless you want to argue. I don't. I don't. I'm cool with that. This is, you know, it's a tough one. This is a tough one because you won two in a row. You're feeling good about yourself. Uh, we always kind of had this one marked as as one that would be nice to get, but one we didn't expect to get. Right. Right. This is a very, uh, uh, again, the numbers, just so many numbers some really good players on this team. They had been struggling with injuries. They had lost a, a few games in a row to really good teams. Right. But uh, Linmar was ranked sixth in the in the state after week two. Let's yeah. not forget that. Right. So And, I mean, they put up, what was it, 120 points in the first two weeks or something crazy like that? Uh, so, yep, they put up 113 points in the first two weeks. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's going to hurt for a little bit. Let it hurt. That's fine. You, you yep. That's good. Hurt can bring positive things. Go back to work tomorrow. Look at the film. It's PV week. Again, got to find a way to win two of the last three. It's there on the table. You're going to be favored in two of those three. So, uh, you know, don't feel too bad about it. No, give, absolutely give not. Your, give yourself a few hours and then get back yep. to work. As you said earlier, give yourself a few hours, flush it, move on. And, you know, and even, you know, 
come out angry against PV. You know, I think that's going to be the biggest thing. You look at a team like PV, they're always fundamentally sound. You've got to find a way to disrupt what it is that they're doing. And I think the only way that this team can do that is come out angry, come out on fire at the very beginning and knock them off their game plan. PB is a team that doesn't throw a lot either. They they like to run the ball. It could be a very quick game. Not a lot of snaps in a game like that, which helps you out. You're back home where, you know, the team has been playing very well this year. You get a good crowd out there. Come on out. Make a lot of noise. You know, make sure you bring your... Um, smartphone with you so you can watch us but head out to the game <laughs> there are actually you know it's funny there are quite a few people that do that or they'll have like an earbud in listening while they're at the stadium i hope so because because this is this is fun to do now we do want to make a correction on that bendorf score we got some bad information there after checking the bendorf's losing tonight big so maybe that'll bring some smile to some muscle team uh, fans right JFK uh, Kennedy High School out of Cedar Rapids is leading 27 to 7 as that game goes to the fourth quarter. Looks like the Bulldogs will lose for the first time this year. As we were just uh, wanted to make sure we uh, clean that up for you yep. before we go off the air and make the long trip home. Any uh, what's next? Any volleyball next week? Uh, we have volleyball on Tuesday, Senior Night. It'll be the last game of the season for the girls. Um, then, of course, we still have a couple football games, and then we'll take a little pause and get ready for basketball, wrestling, all the fun winter sports. There we go. Sounds good. And, again, uh, we'll be back on the air next Friday night, back home in the friendly confines of Muscatine as the Muskies look to rebound against, uh, oh, those hated Pleasant Valley Spartans. Spartans ranked number four in the state come to town and uh, get loud, get proud, and uh, make a lot of noise because uh, I'm just trying to scroll and stall to find a Pleasant Valley score for you. And uh, they were winning 24-7 to last, so Pleasant Valley is going to improve to 5-1. and one. That's what they'll bring to town next week and uh, see if the Muskies can uh, knock them off their pedestal a little bit. But until then, glad you could join us tonight uh, here. This has been a presentation of the Dis Discover Muscatine Sports Network. For Chris Anderson, I'm Roland Glenbine. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next Friday.